Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we'll talk about the Battle of Fleury, which occurred around Fleury, France, from September 19th to, to October 11th, 1914. Germany and France have had a long history of warfare. The area fought most over and through was the Wavy Plain. Stretching from the French city of Toul, north to Luxembourg, the plain is flanked by a series of mountain ranges on both sides. Anticipating fighting, both Germany and France had built fortifications on either side before the war. As the war commenced, German High Command realized how effective artillery machine guns were, especially from a defensive perspective. The plan was to seize the French heights and deny the Allies access to the plain at all. On September 19th, elements of the German 6th Army left the city of Metz, and under the command of Crown Prince Ruprecht, began to engage the French 3rd Army. The French 3rd Army was commanded by Maurice Sorel and Noel de Castanel. The fighting erupted around a Dillard Martin Court area in the woods called Fleury. Centered in the woods was the town of Sicupre, which was quickly captured by the Germans. By September 22nd, French reinforcements arrived at the area, but it was too late to stop the German onslaught. Unexpectedly, the Germans shifted their attack from south to southwest and captured the town of St. Mihail on September 24th. By now, the remaining smaller villages in the forest of Fleury were captured and secured by the Germans as well. The French 3rd Army sent additional reinforcements on September 27th but they found that the Germans had settled in and began construction of the entrenchments. The French desperately launched attacks for the next 14 days, and by October 11th they still had been unable to push the Germans back. By this point, the Germans had firmly embedded themselves in the area, taking advantage of the defensive positions and making the area a hard point that the French were unable to crack at this time. The area acted as a bulwark and center of the German military moving forward into war. There were no reported casualties on either side of the fighting's losses, but we know they were there. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.